Remember, kids, don't believe everything that you hear on the internet. I'm going to tell you guys something about rumors. And for the record, yes, rumors spread offline, but they spread, you know, to only a handful of people unless somebody has a room full of people to just talk to like that or a bunch of people saved in their phone or something like that. But on the internet, you can spread rumors to thousands of people and people can sit up there and just take the lie and just keep adding on and on to it to the point where you don't know where it started. You don't know why the person's saying it or what they're trying to get out of it. And when I originally heard about Cardi B and Nicki Minaj meeting up at the Met Gala in 2022, I heard that they got into a fight. And when I say fight, I don't mean an argument because, you know, fight could mean argument. I'm talking about a physical altercation here. I'm going to keep going, but first click the thumbs up button. Thumbs up this video right now. Helps with the algorithm. More people see this video. Thank you to those who are going to thumbs up this video. At least say hi in the comment section. If you at least say hi, then that'll help to trigger the algorithm. Or you can, you know, say anything you want. You can literally say anything in the comment section but are you surprised that Nicki Minaj and Cardi B allegedly still have tension between them if you are surprised say I'm shocked if you're not surprised say not surprised that there's some alleged tension that doesn't mean it's true but we do know is that your girl Cardi B or as I like to call my baby Stinkfoot B it's my nickname for her you know I have nicknames for some of the girls that I really love actually I used to call her Nikki Nikki muffins I'm gonna bring that one back because I, I just think that she tastes like chocolate chip muffins for some reason and I bet she smells like them too but here's the thing right so Stinkfoot B and Nicki Minaj this whole rumor about them getting physical that part wasn't true and it doesn't sound like as if whatever happened between them was as bad as what it sounded like right from what I heard days ago about the Met Gala. But Media Takeout or MTL News posted an article on, let me see, Single Day Mayo, May 5th of 2022, titled Cardi B and Nicki Minaj had a public face off at Met Gala, allegedly pressed Nicki, right? And when I clicked on the article, there was a very short article, but there was a video from YouTube from a YouTuber named Armand Niggins. I mean, Armand Wiggins. Uh, that was a Freudian slip. I swear to God. Armand Wiggins. I don't mean to mess the brother's name, okay? I'm pretty sure he, he would say that he's that ninja allegedly but here's the thing right so armand wiggins is talking about it and he got the information from a source that basically at the met gala they sat nikki near cardi now for anybody who doesn't know the history of these two heifers basically that's like having oil and water next to each other you dig that's just not it's just not the smartest thing to do because they're not going to mix and it's ridiculous as far as their so-called beef is concerned because it was about allegedly Nicki minaj allegedly had liked some tweet or something where somebody says something about cardi b's child and you know that's of course from the ratchet playbook you know the whole don't say anything about my child that gives me the excuse to act like a demon that whole thing that they do and <laughs> God, I hate it when they do that corny shit. Ratchet bitches love to use their kids as, as an excuse to just act like trash. I mean, when you're fighting at the Met Gala, because Cardi B allegedly threw a shoe at Nicki Minaj at the Met Gala years ago. I mean, who goes to a high-class event like that and throws a shoe at somebody? But then again, what type of celebrity sues a YouTuber? But then again, what type of celebrity <laughs> goes out at nighttime to meet up with two dudes to fight over their comments on, what was it, Twitter that time? Excuse me, allegedly she met up with them to fight. Allegedly. Because y'all know how she is. You know, she is hey, well, actually, I met up with them to argue. I didn't meet up with them to fight. You know how Cardi B is. You know, she, she'll say, allegedly will say anything. You know, I mean, she was on the stand acting like as if she didn't want to live over her beef with Tasha K. Like, sure, we really believe that not but anyways hold up hold up hold up how are you gonna say that I, are, you, are you implying that i was lying well cardi b is considering the fact that you are the gangster snitch and nobody wants to get sued because you out here just suing people pretty much all willy-nilly then no um i don't have anything to say about the validity of your statements on that stand at all other than i think that you allegedly may have not been 100 percent truthful that's it that's it that's it i'm suing your ass next i'm suing the world i will sue everybody you goddamn youtubers are not gonna be the death of me i will be back okay cardi go ahead and cry in the corner but here's the thing right so now according to armand wiggins excuse me armand wiggins source basically they met up at the met gala they were sitting near each other cardi b and nikki made eye contact and nikki minaj basically looked back into her phone and just started messing with her phone because it i guess you could imply that she was scared allegedly possibly maybe of having conflict or an interaction with cardi b here's the thing about this okay that's the gist of it but here's the problem with the whole story people were trying to paint Nicki minaj as a quote-unquote coward i mean if this information is true when it just 
lets me know that she's very mature if she did that, which I can't believe I'm saying that because I've called Nicki Minaj out on her immaturity plenty of times over the years. So that sounds like growth. I hate to say it, but I mean, she did the right thing if this is true. I mean, wh why would you want to interact with somebody who's as volatile, excuse me, potentially volatile as Cardi B? Because Cardi B is cool sometimes, and then other times she's like nutty. She's like two, three, four, five, ten, eleven, fifty million, uh, fifty, uh, however many people. You know, it's like you never know who you're gonna get. You're gonna get Cardi. You're gonna get Stinkfoot B. You know, I mean, Cardi is like the most awesome daughter and awesome sister to her family. You know what I mean? She's an awesome mom to them kids. An awesome wife to offset, you know, and then there's that chick who you really don't want to be enemies with, you know. I've seen her go from great human being, who maybe even I would like to get to know, to somebody who acts like they basically ain't shit. I, I've seen, and I've, I've seen her snap and <laughs> go from one character to another, like an actress. But that's what she is—a Hollywood actress, right? But anyways, what do you guys think about Nicki versus Cardi? If Nicki Minaj did look into her phone. And let's let's just say she was scared. I mean, did she really do anything wrong? I mean, it's amazing how people award bad behavior and they basically co-sign and make excuses for people who act like trash. I'm not I'm not just talking about Cardi. I'm talking about just in general, even stupid shit that Nicki Minaj has done. Like, for example, Nicki Minaj, one of the trashiest things that she's ever done is like let her fan base run amok. And she doesn't really like call them out for the bad things that they do. I mean, some of like Nicki Minaj's fans, Beyonce's fans, Cardi B fans just... Come on now. The type of shit that they get into is just disgusting. And a lot of these people are grown because a lot of people think, you know, oh, well, their fans must, must be like a bunch of like 13, 14, 15 year olds. No, a lot of these people's fans are 30 year old, 40 year old and 50 year old people who are parents at that. Some of them are business owners at that. Some of them have blue checks. A lot of them have like a lot of responsibility. A lot of them have a, a lot of power and influence. And the things that they get away with is just like. You got to be kidding me. I mean, they're talking shit to people in the comment sections and, and beyond that. Some of them are ready to fight. Some of them are threatening people. Sad. Now, can't we just enjoy the music? I like some of Cardi B's music. I like some of Nicki Minaj's music. And, of course, I like that motorsport song where they would go. I didn't like the Migos part. But, I mean, what was the name? Takeoff's verse was all right-ish. It was okay-ish. But Nicki and Cardi killed that. <laughs> Those are two of my favorite verses of that year. Was that What year was that? 2017, I think? I would have to say that their verses were my favorite verses of the whole year. The verses of Motorsport. And it's amazing that they were on the song together. You know, I, I thought that that was really good for hip hop. It was really good for females in hip hop. I was very happy to see that. But anyways, before I start rambling, please let me know in the comment section. Whose side you on? Are you a Nicki Minaj fan, Cardi B fan, or both? If you're on Nicki Minaj's side, please say this in the comment section. And let me know that you made it until the end of this video. The secret password is, if you're on Nicki's side, say Team Nicki. If you're on Cardi B's side, say Team Cardi. If you like both, say Team Both. If you're not effing with either one of these heifers, then say Team Me. And that'll let me know that you're Team You, you dig? And if you're Team Meat Magazine, say Team MM. That'll let me know that you're on my side. So I'm going to say I'm Team Everybody. That's what I'm going to put in the comment section. Because I'm Team You. I'm Team Cardi. I'm Team Nikki. I'm Team Me. I'm Team This Mean Three and a Half Inches. I'm Team It All. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about it below. Click the thumbs up button. Subscribe. Choose all notifications. I promise I have better videos coming. You know, I just wanted to make sure that I touched on this, you know. And, you know, I heard that Cardi B be watching people's videos and stuff like that. And Cardi B, if you're listening, if you're listening. I had to adjust myself. I had to get a little closer to the microphone for a second. Please, please accept my side guy application. It's okay, Cardi. You can have two husbands. We can figure out how we're going to convince Offset why it's okay for me to move in and sleep on your couch. And I don't know I can like iron your clothes. I, there's something that I can do for you. I, I mean, I need my side guy application. I could cook. I could clean. You know, like you don't have to do any of that stuff. Just like how you rapped about. I'm just trying to. All right, y'all. She, she she doesn't want me to be her side guy. Whatever. I gotta go.